know that intro was kind of dramatic. Um, this is the first RC car that I completely designed and printed from scratch. The first car that I ever made was actually a design from a YouTuber. I will link him in the description. But basically his car worked great, but I ended up actually modifying it so much uh, just for reliability and performance that the only things that remained the same were basically the frame and the outer shells of the differential front and rear. Um, so after doing all that, I got to thinking, why don't I just design my own car um, from the ground up? So basically that's what I did. And as you can see in the B-roll, uh, the design uses an outrunner motor, which is actually intended for a quadcopter. But these kind of motors give a lot of torque uh, and actually add a lower RPM. So I don't have to worry about wear and tear on the gears and the gearbox as much using these types of motors. Along with the motor, I'm using a 2200 milliamp hour 3S LiPo and four 60 millimeter shocks. The wheels were just the cheapest ones I could find on Amazon. So that's what those are. Basically the car works better than I imagined it would. And I never thought that PLA CV axles would last this long. But as you can see here, the axle has run more than 10 hours actually and it's actually rough driving like what you see in the intro and uh, they're still holding up pretty good but actually before i had the print settings dialed in just for this specific part i did have several brakes uh, not where i thought they would be at the nubs but actually mid axle uh, they would snap or bend or twist uh, which you should be able to see on the screen right now so uh, you know, that being said um, there are a few things that I would like to tweak uh, just to get working better on the car. The first thing is there's a lot of slop in the front steering, uh, most notably at the actual hubs, but then also the rack. It has a lot of movement and so I need to do something. I need to design a new uh, slider to hold it in better so it can't move around. The second thing is the ride height. The height is good. I originally wanted to keep it as low as possible so it didn't want to flip over uh, when it was going fast but it turns out that's not really an issue and so I actually experimented by raising the front it still works good doesn't flip over so I'm gonna go ahead and raise the back and the reason for this is actually because it can't drive over grass at all and it has a lot of trouble driving over large rocks and rubble um, with the ride height being as low as it is as you should be able to see the last thing i want to tweak on is the rear suspension um, it seems to kind of be half functioning as you can see it's not really stiff but it kind of resists moving probably because of the way i designed it um, there's considerable friction and so it doesn't really want to move uh, like it should i need to figure out what to do on that i actually know very little to nothing about rc cars and so these things that I have here may not be optimal and probably are not optimal. I'll be posting the project on Thingiverse soon uh, if anyone wants to have a go at it. I still need to make a build sheet um, and some sort of guide. The original idea was to make a sub $100 RC drift car. I'm not sure if I made it within those limits or not. I haven't counted up how much it costed to build just yet. Um, if you're interested in a hardware kit, uh, let me know in a private message. Um, I'll be posting updates to the channel about the car and uh, various other projects, so uh, make sure to subscribe and thank you for watching.